This is Witchbase News for Friday the 17th of July 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...tritium mining ...flippin heck ...there's odyssey information coming in August ...operation IDA approaches the end ...and there's a new community focused offering from the pilot. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing to the channel and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That stuff really helps. Frontier dropped Carrier Patch 3 into the game on Wednesday this week and along with a raft of stability, bug and exploit fixes they also included a balancing pass to the effectiveness of overlapping mining hotspots. The intention was to rein in the overwhelming amount of resources in these zones while still making them more effective than non overlapping hotspots. Things didn't go according to plan however and as a result the amount of available tritium overall has absolutely gone through the floor. Whilst an unintentional lack of availability of any commodity in the game is obviously undesirable the situation is compounded 1000 fold when that commodity is tritium. Tritium is the wonder fuel of the 11,000 ish fleet carriers in the galaxy. A fair few of those carriers are out on long range expeditions deep in the black. Prior to the patch keeping the colossal vessels fueled was a task but not an impossible one. Now however ...well there's little to no tritium in the galaxy. You can see where this is going. Not only has the market for selling tritium collapsed but we now have a situation where exploration carriers or those on long journeys can no longer fuel up from mining. As though to further compound the problem we're also hearing reports that Colonia the human outpost mini bubble tens of thousands of light years from the cradle of humanity has all but completely run out of tritium. Their mining issue now being further exacerbated by the market selling tritium also drying up. Even if a carrier has the internal fortitude to make it to Colonia on its last fumes of trit ...once it gets there it's not going any further. Suffice to say the community not least of which the mining community was not best pleased and ...perhaps somewhat understandably ...burst into flames. Upon seeing the reaction the community team at Frontier responded to say that the situation was being looked at and then later on updated to say that a negative impact on the availability of tritium was unintentional and in fact tritium should have remained at the levels of availability prior to patch 3 dropping. So as many had suspected it seems it's not working as intended. As at the time of recording there's no update from Frontier on what action we'll see to remedy the trit apocalypse but at least we now know the action was unintentional and that remedial action is likely to come. For the sake of all the stranded carriers here's hoping it's fairly swift. In other FDEV news Frontier also announced yesterday that more information about Odyssey would be coming in August. In a forum announcement on Thursday afternoon Stephen Benedetti posted that a developer diary about Odyssey would be coming at some point next month to kick off the marketing and information campaign for the forthcoming expansion to Elite Dangerous. Whilst there has been cries in some quarters of an announcement of an announcement it is quite out of character for the usually very tight lipped frontier to say anything in advance of ...well anything. So yes this is an announcement of an announcement but we were quite encouraged to know that we would be hearing more on the much anticipated expansion very soon. When the Thargoids began attacking humanity's starports they were left tattered, offline and unusable. The colossal task of shipping the tens of thousands of tons of commodities necessary to repair them was left to the independent pilots of the galaxy but without coordination and organisation the task would be almost impossible. And thus was born Operation Ida. Over the last two and a half years the team at Operation Ida has quite literally been moving mountains of commodities to the affected starports and coordinating those that wish to help. 
Over that time they've evolved and expanded their pages of spreadsheets and charts to the point that they now have automated tools for the tracking and reporting of their deliveries. It now appears that Operation Ida is fast approaching the end of the monumental task that they set for themselves and they're calling for one last push from the community to bring the last 5 stations that need repairing all online all at the same time. Seek out the reddit post linked below and you can join in right now in what Operation Ida are calling the hall to end it all. The efforts of Ida have been significantly aided with the release of fleet carriers meaning the vast distances and numerous interdictions they used to suffer are a thing of the past and with this one last push from the community they can finally bring this first chapter of Thargoid station attacks to a close. Over the past two and a half years the team at Operation Ida have absolutely earned the admiration and respect of everyone here at the pit. Without their efforts and those that support them the galaxy of Elite Dangerous would undoubtedly be a very different shape to the one that we see today and that kind of dogged determination and dedication deserves to be recognised and applauded by the entire Elite community. Operation Ida we salute you. And finally YouTuber The Pilot is launching a new community centric initiative this week entitled The Inner Orion Network or ION. For the ION initiative he's requesting community submitted stories from inside the galaxy of Elite Dangerous. Every week there'll be a submission thread on Reddit where you can post your third person accounts of stories from your time in Elite. Think Galnet by the people for the people. To get started see the link in the description below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>